Hey third grade readers, how are you liking the mystery unit so far? I am loving it. I still am wondering about that Mr. Paschke. I'm now wondering about um, Mr. Linkletter. I don't know, something doesn't seem right with me. I'm still always wondering. So today, our lesson today is talking about how co-detectives help each other. Now, if you think about co-detectives, if you think about co, that means two. So kind of like a partnership where two people work together. There's kind of some famous co-detectors. If you look in your reading workshop notebook, some are the ones that we're reading now. Actually, there are three of them working together. Jink, Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose are kind of a group working together. Or we've got, if you're reading a Cam Jansen book, you've got Cam Jansen and Eric. Or if you've read a Scooby-Doo book, we've got Scooby-Doo, and then he's got his whole team with Scrappy and all of his other friends. Or we've got Nate the Great, and his buddy is Sludge. So these are some of the partnerships that do kind of work together. Now I know if we were in school, we would work together and kind of talk with each other about what we're thinking, ask questions of each other, but I know that's really hard when you're at home. So here are some things that you can do. Maybe you can talk with maybe mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, who's ever in charge of you about what you're reading in your book. Maybe you want to talk to them a little bit about what we're reading in our absent author. See if they've got things that they might want to add. Maybe if you're reading your book and you're reading aloud to someone, maybe you could talk with them as you're kind of sitting and working together doing your reading. Maybe you want to talk with your dog. I know your dog probably won't talk back, but if they do, you are very special. So today what I want you to do is I want you to listen to our new chapter. I'm going to read chapter seven today. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about what are some questions that you could ask somebody. Again, you could talk with that person at home. You could, maybe if you want to talk with a friend that's reading it, maybe you guys can call each other. Or maybe as you're playing Fortnite, but not too much, maybe you could talk to each other about what we're reading in our absent author and what they're thinking. So here's some things that I kind of want you to put kind of in your brain as we do some talking today. So some questions that you might want to ask or think about. What's happening so far? What are we learning about this character? For example, I still think Mr. Paskey's a real nervous guy. What clues are we finding and what might they mean? And what will happen next? Don't look at your job quite yet. In fact, I'm just gonna flip it up so that you don't have to worry about it quite yet. Aren't really working for me. Okay, here we go. You ready? Here comes chapter seven. Here we go. Chapter seven. Think Josh and Ruth Rose left Mavis at Ellie's diner. I'm kind of wondering about Mavis a little bit in the back of my head. Then headed for Dink's house. Dink made tuna sandwiches and lemonade. Ruth Rose brought a bag of potato chips and some raisin cookies from her house next door. They ate at the picnic table in Dink's backyard. Dink took a bite of his sandwich. After he swallowed, he said, let's go over what we know. So kind of they're talking about what is happening so far. He moved his lemonade glass to the middle of the table. My glass is the airport, he said. We know Wallace Wallace landed. How do we know he did, Josh asked. The airport told me the plane landed, Josh. And Maureen Higgins? She said she picked him up, Ruth Rose added. Okay, so your glass is the airport, said Josh. Keep going, Dink. Dink slid his sandwich plate over next to the glass. My plate is Maureen's taxi. He put a cookie on the plate. The cookie is Wallace Wallace getting into the taxi. Dink slid the plate over to the, op to the open potato chip bag. This bag is the hotel. He walked the Wallace Wallace cookie from the plate into the bag. Dink looked at Josh and Ruth Rose. But what happened to Wallace Wallace after he walked into the lobby? Okay, so here's kind of a picture of what they're doing with their cookies and their plates and their glasses. Remember, Wallace Wallace is on the plate. I'll tell you what happened, Josh said. He lined up four cookies in a row. The little cookie is Mr. Paskey. These three are Maureen, Mr. Linkletter, and Olivia Nougat. 
Josh looked up and waggled his eyebrows. I think these four cookies are planning the kidnapper and kidnapping together. I never thought about that. Let's see what they have to say about that. Ruth Rose laughed. Josh, Mr. Paskey and Livy are friends of ours. Do you really think they plan this big kidnapping? And can you see Mr. Linkletter and my babysitter pulling off a kidnapping together? Josh ate a potato chip. Well, maybe not, but someone kidnapped the guy. Our trail leads us to the hotel. And then it ended, Stink said. What I want to know is, if Wallace Wallace isn't in his room, where is he? Dink nibbled on a cookie thoughtfully. I'm getting a headache trying to sort it all out. Ruth Rose dug into Dink's backpack and brought out three Wallace Wallace books. I have an idea. She handed the books to Dink and Josh and kept one. What are these for? Dink asked. Josh made me think of something Wallace Wallace wrote in the mystery in the museum. Ruth Rose said, he said, the more you know about the victim, the easier it is to figure out who did the crime. Huh, that's interesting, because that kind of goes with, what are we learning about the character? So what are we learning about Wallace Wallace? We don't really know a ton quite yet. She turned the back cover of her book. So let's try to figure out more about our victim. Listen to this. So they're kind of reading that blurb from the back of the book. She started reading out loud. When not writing, the author likes to work in the garden. Naturally, Wallace Wallace's favorite color is green. Hmm. Was it one of our characters? Who was it? Was it, um, who was I thinking? Mavis? Wasn't she wearing green? I wonder if she knows all about Wallace Wallace. And she's the one that took him. Because she was going to have lunch with him. I don't know. This is, this is getting good. You ready? Fine, said Josh, but how, knowing his favorite color, does that help us to find him, Ruth Rose? I don't know, but maybe if we read a little bit more about him, we'll discover some clues, Ruth Rose said. What does it say on the back of your book? Josh flipped the book over again and began reading more. Wallace Wallace lives in a castle called Moose Manor. Moose Manor. He looked up. We already knew that he lived in a castle. Remember Mrs. Sardina told us about that? I don't see any clues yet, you guys. Ruth Rose stared at Josh. You know something is bugging me, but I can't figure out what it is. Something someone said today, maybe. She shook her head. Anyway, read yours, Dink. Dink read from the back cover of his book. Wallace Wallace gives money from writing books to help preserve wild animals that live in Maine. Okay, he gives money away to save animals, lives in a castle, Grows a bunch of green stuff, Josh said, counting on his fingers. Still no clues. Josh took another cookie. But I just thought of something, he began slowly munching on the cookie. Dink raised his eyebrows. Are you going to tell us, Josh? Well, I was thinking about room 302. Remember, someone signed the register right after Wallace Wallace checked into room 303. And the signature was all smudged. And then, Olivia told us that room 302 had to had a do not disturb sign on it. Ruth Rose interrupted. Livy never went into that room at all. Just then, Dink's mother drove up the driveway. She got out of the car and waved and started walking towards the picnic table. Oh no, Dink said. If mom finds out I'm trying to find a kidnapper, she won't let me out of the house. Don't say anything, okay? I can't even say hi, Josh said. Dink threw a potato chip at Josh. Say hi, then shut up about you know what. Hi, Mrs. Duncan, Josh said, sliding a look at Dink. Hi, kids. How is the book signing? Tell me all about Wallace Wallace, Dink. Is he wonderful as you expected? Dink stared at his mother. He didn't want to lie, but if he told her the truth, she wouldn't let him keep looking for Wallace Wallace. And Dink, all of a sudden, started feeling like they were very close to finding him. We can't stop now, he thought. He looked at his mother and grinned stupidly. Dink, honey, why is your mouth open? He closed his mouth. Think, Dink, think, ordered himself. Suddenly, Josh knocked over his lemonade glass. That sticky cold liquid spilled into Dink's lap. Dink let out a howl and jumped up. Gee, sorry, said Josh. Paper towels to the rescue, Dink's mother ran towards the house. Good thinking, Josh, Dink said, wiping his wet jeans. But did you have to spill it on me? You had the whole yard.
hard. Josh grinned. Some people are never satisfied. I got you out of hot water, didn't I? Right into cold lemonade, Ruth Rose said. Tink blotted his jeans with a handful of paper napkins. Come on, let's go meet Mavis before my mom comes back. There's something weird happening on the third floor of the Shangri-La Hotel. The end. Okay, here's what you're going to do. I still want you to keep thinking. I still want you to keep talking to people if you can. I know you might not be able to, but your job, the work that you're going to do is this. You're going to open a Google Doc. You're going to put today's date on it. Then you're going to write about ways that having a co-detective could help you. So I'm going to move this up just a little bit. So you, again, you're going to write about the ways that having a co-detective could help you. So I kind of want you to think like your detective. How is having a buddy or a friend or a co-detective with you, how could that help you solve the crime that you're trying to solve? So keep reading. Keep enjoying your books that you're reading. I'm hoping you are adding clues. I am hoping that you are talking to people about what you're reading. Maybe you can even compare our book to what's your book. So keep reading, keep enjoying, keep asking questions. See you next time.